acting like a lefty there. Yep, we got southpaw today. So like a left-handed boxer all the way around or a left-handed pitcher coming at you from the left side. Not really anything really left about this, but that's southpaw, that's the nicknames. Here we go. So we're gonna start off with some single leg strength. So you will get to use your left leg and move your left leg. It is single leg RDLs and we are doing these single leg RDLs at every minute for eight rounds or four rounds on each leg. So it is four rounds of eight reps. You're gonna rest the remainder of the minute, then do the opposite leg. Please, please, please only do one leg per minute. We wanna get a little heavy here. We wanna get a little stronger here. We wanna work strength. So we have to rest to build strength. And if you're trying to do 16 reps every minute, you're gonna be spent, burnt out, breathing way too heavy and miss out on the actual strength portion of today's workout. So single leg RDLs, eight reps every minute on one leg. We'll switch the next minute to the other leg, rocking and rolling here. So remember our single leg RDL is built upon hinging from one leg, flat back. So pull your chest back, hinge over, squeeze and stand up. Hinge, squeeze and stand up. Eight on one side, Rest the remainder of the minute, eight on the other. If you can add weight today, which hopefully you can with these, you're gonna put the weight in the hand that is moving backwards, or excuse me, in the hand of the leg that's moving backwards. You're gonna hinge over, boom, stand and come up, hinge over, boom, stand and come up. A couple things we do not wanna see. We wanna see you actually stand today and set the foot down. What I don't wanna see is this number, where we hinge over, Whoa, fall over and try and stand back up. We want to see control here, there. Now, the other thing we don't want to see is you go to the ground. It's not the goal of today. It is a single leg RDL. When we do regular Romanian deadlifts, we don't touch the ground. It's not what we're supposed to do. It's a hinge pattern and it's a subtle hinge pattern that's different than when we try and go to the ground. So watch your front shin. It should stay nice and vertical as I push my hips back. So you can see my shin stays vertical there. All right. Now, the other thing we want to watch for, and I'm going to do this with no weight, is the hips swiveling or opening. So we don't want to be like this. I am a figure skater. I'm going to be in control, hinge over, squeeze and stand up. Nice and smooth there. All right. Those are our single leg deadlifts. There's a whole other video that I'll show you all of those movements in one video. Okay. Then we have South Paul, the actual workout. This is a 15 minute hammer. It is a ladder. You're going up three, six, nine, 12. Onward and upward by threes each round. Now, it's two movements paired with a core hold. So it is kettlebell swings. These are just regular Russian kettlebell swings, so only the eye level. And box step ups with no weight there. So we have kettlebell swings, box step ups, and then every round after you swing, and step up, you will do a 30 second hollow hold. Now, that hollow hold is for 30 seconds. It's not for 29 seconds, 25 seconds, blah, blah, blah. It's for 30 seconds. You don't get to look at the clock while you're laying on the ground and count that time. No, 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 it's for however long you're holding, that's the time you count. So if you hold for 15 seconds, then lay down and rest, that time doesn't count. You add then 15 more seconds and that gets you your 30. All right, I think you all know that, but just to make sure. All right, so let's go through those movements. We're looking for another hinge on that kettlebell swing. So standing tall, or hinge over, reach our hands in between our legs, squeeze, stand tall, let the kettlebell float right up to eye level. Notice, I'm not pulling with my shoulders to do anything. They're just keeping it from flying through the window of that house, all right? And I'm thinking really, really hard about squeezing my buttocks every single time. That stands me up nice and tall. Here, I'm also not looking to lean and sway back. Unless I want to walk around like this the rest of the day with a sore back. I want to use my hamstrings and my glutes to do the work here. That will offset everything there and keep my back safe. All right, so set that down. Then we're looking to do step ups. On the step ups, we're gonna find a box that hopefully is above our knee height. You can find a box, a chair, a stable, whatever to step up on. We're looking to step and stand all around the box locking out on the box. So my butt squeezed, my legs are squeezed, quads are squeezed, 
and then back down. We're going to alternate legs each time, up and down there as we go. Now, one big thing here. These are trying to be single leg movements. So what we don't want to see is the partial step stand there. We want to do that, we just do air squats. We want to see that full extension and then we may use the other leg to help push off the ground, but try not to just make it a two-legged step up. Okay, now for our last piece, the hollow hold. A couple different variations here. You should be able to do whatever variation for at least a minute in, before you try and do it in the workout. So you should have a max and broken set of at least a minute of whatever variation you choose and then be able to work them through them in the workout. So down on the ground, again, keeping our low back glued to the ground. I think we've talked this numerous times. Here, hands above our head, reaching back. Nice, tight, hollow position there, all right? No rocks, just holds, nice and tight. You can always scale it to one leg back here or two legs back there. Tighter the ball, the better the form on those, all right? Also remember, low backs on the ground, low backs on the ground. I can't say it enough times, we're not looking for arch backs here. All right, gang, have fun with South Bar. We're looking to get into that maybe round of 18, maybe even 20 kind of high up in there and knees, moving and grooving through them. You got this. Take care and have fun.